Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. There's a EKG coding reference I put together that I've been sharing with a lot of my colleagues here at Mayo Clinic and I thought this may be of use for you. And this is a free coding reference I put together that we're using to teach our fellows as we put together their kind of their fellowship training process and their course. And I think that you may find this helpful. So let me show you how to get access to it. So this is what you'll end up getting to, okay? But let me show you how you get there. So let's go to this here. So what you wanna do to get access, and right now it's free, okay? So that's why I would encourage you to get this. And what you would do is go to this link, all right? So pretty much it's HTTP and then the colon backslash backslash ekg.md and then backslash ecg dash coding dash reference backslash okay so make sure you put that link in okay so just to highlight it's this one here so go to this page and then what you're going to want to do is step two is enter your email okay so enter your email here so your email in this one Remember, this is yours, not any other one. But what I want you to do is then enter this password, okay? So this is the password, not your one that you make, but the one I'm giving you so you get free access, and that is the EKG guy AK, okay? So that's what you're gonna enter there. So again, the email that you're putting in is your email, and I'm giving you my password for this so that you get free access, okay? Now, after you put that in, you click submit, okay? And what you're gonna have to do is go check your email and then confirm that this is your account, okay? So that's all you have to do. Put your email in, put this password I'm giving you in, and then go check your email and it'll give you a link and then you'll have access, okay? Now, every time you log in, you're gonna want to do the same thing check put your email in and then use this password okay don't make up your own password make sure you're using the one i'm giving you okay you won't have to confirm your email again next time but that's pretty much the process okay and then feel free to share with friends um, i think this is something i wish i had when i was training in medical school in residency same thing just something that you can get free access to and have on the go so let me show you what you'll get with this okay and this is an ongoing updating process so what we have here is once you're logged in, you'll come to this and you'll have see 10 different parts, okay? General features and P wave abnormalities, different rhythms, AV conduction, voltage access hypertrophy, IV conduction, myocardial infarction, different STTU uh, wave abnormalities, clinical disorders and pacemaker function. So what's the point of this, okay? Well, what we wanna have here is that this is how we code EKGs, okay? So a normal EKG, what you'll see are, here are the features of it, okay, of a normal EKG. This is an example of a normal EKG, okay? And we'll continue to update this and give you more things. For instance, an artifact. This is actually a spinal electrode artifact that you see here, okay? Same thing, P way of abnormalities, what is right and left atrial enlargement. You have that all here, and you can access this on your phone too. You can also see rhythms, okay? So what are atrial rhythms? Here's the different sinus rhythms, sinus arrhythmias, sinus bradycardia, and so forth, okay? And you can keep seeing this. Here's multifocal atrial tachycardia. So you have an example there. You have the criteria to reference, and it's all going to be here, okay? Atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation. So my goal is to keep updating this, and this has been a very, very long process of putting it together, but I think this is going to be very beneficial. And, you know, my goal is just to help you guys uh, just get better so that we can ultimately del deliver better patient care, okay? And that's that's always been my goal, and I, I think you guys, um, hopefully, this is helpful for you. So again, AV blocks, WPW, AV dissociation, okay? This is something I'll keep updating, so just keep checking back. There will be more stuff, but this is more than enough to get started for, okay? You can access this from your phone and uh, everywhere you are on the go, okay? Same thing with different myocardial infarctions. Now, again, remember, this. some of this may be advanced for you, but this is what we're building to teach our fellows here at Mayo Clinic, okay? This is something they have to do when they take their board exams to know all these. Okay, we're gonna be entering some of these clinical disorders, uh, Brugada syndrome, digitalis, okay? So some of this may be a little more advanced for you, but I think 
you can learn it, okay? I think EKGs is still an area that we have a lot of room for improvement and education, and then hopefully uh, we're helping to serve that, okay? Now remember, you can also look at our lectures. These are all the free lectures that are online that many of you are seeing on our YouTube page. But then we also have uh, the course that's available here, okay? And this is the course that I put together. This is the one that has the book uh, that we have. Okay, and that you can see a sample lecture. The lectures here in this course are different from the ones on YouTube. Okay, so I just want you to be aware of that. The ones on YouTube are kind of the first, my first go around of putting videos together. This is more of a high level, taking you from a beginner to advanced level with one resource, and every page in the book has corresponding videos, okay? So it's over 25, almost 30 hours of video. And then I've also added videos of practice, okay? So I want you to be aware of that. Again, some people like to have this. And again, these prices are the best, okay? You get a book, videos, and calipers. Everyone gets calipers. My goal is not so much to ever, you know, working with publishers, they were gonna charge a fortune. I want you guys to learn EKGs I want us to help our patients, okay? So again, this is how, uh, this is something available to you. You can kind of click through. Um, and to thank you all for you know using this and sharing this with your friends. We've had so much uh, good feedback and uh, we're using it here to train our clinicians and teach them here at Mayo Clinic. And I hope that uh, this becomes kind of something you use, okay? So please feel free to share again just to take you back to the beginning, go to this website, okay? You can kind of make that your favorite, all right? All you have to do is put your email in, use this password, all right? Or else you're gonna have struggle getting in, okay? And once you use that, every time you come in, just keep using that password, make sure to confirm your email, and then please uh, share with friends. Now, I want you to know there's over 400,000 of us on uh, Facebook, okay? So just go to our community here, and we'd love to have you. We're always posting questions. We're always trying to learn together, grow together, and, and really just enjoy this process of learning EKGs. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you find this useful and we'll share with your friends. Have a wonderful day.